This is Scrubs, a very chubby and very naughty pug. His nail trim was going smoothly at first, but after a few nails, he decided to turn into a feisty pug tato and bit me. Ah. Hey! No biting! Pugs are one of the most difficult breeds for nails, so getting bit by a pug during a nail trim isn't that surprising to me. But what did surprise me is that when biting my hand didn't get me to stop, he started to try and bite me in the face. Hey, why are you trying to go at my face? That's not nice. I don't muzzle pugs because it's not safe due to their smooshed faces. Most already have a very hard time breathing. So instead, I stop before one of us gets hurt, and I have the owner come in at the end of his groom to hold him while I trim his nails. Scrubs is a rescue dog, and there's no telling what he went through before he was adopted, so I'm not going to hold his behavior against him. I'll just have to continue working with him, and hopefully one day he'll learn to trust me with his feet. He might be a demon dog for nail trims, but he's a perfect gentleman for his bath. Pugs shed a lot due to their double coats, so I'm using the Bark to Basics Shed Control Shampoo and Conditioner to hopefully lessen the amount of magical fibers of joy and love he's spreading through his home. All pugs have some level of wrinkles, and because Scrubs is so chubby, he's got wrinkles in his wrinkles. So cleaning them out and making sure they're dry is very important. Wrinkle infections are very painful and very hard to get rid of. Cleaning out the ears is equally as important, especially for Scrubs because he has really bad allergies and is very prone to ear infections. He had some ear cheese hiding in there he was saving for later. Now that he's clean and all of his wrinkles, cracks, and crevices have been wiped out, I help him out of the tub onto my table and pat him down with a towel so he's not dripping wet. When the dryer touches him, he turns into a grouchy gremlin and decides the dryer must die. You know what they say, the smaller the dog, the bigger the attitude. He lost the battle with my dryer and isn't too happy about it, but gets over it and lets me brush him. My favorite brush to use on pugs is the Kong Zoom Groom Rubber Curry. It's very effective at getting out the loose undercoat and dead fur. For good measure, I also go over him with my deshedding rake. Lastly, I give him a few spritzes of Pugkin Spice Latte Cologne. He's done and ready to get the hell out of here.